I'm sure I wasn't the only one on the hype train after seeing Gohan finally seem to power up into his mystic Gohan form and utilize some of his power and capabilities in this latest Dragon Ball Super episode. Episode 103 of Dragon Ball Super was a fantastic episode featuring a lot of action as well as another universe, Universe 10, being erased from existence by Zeno. The episode started off with Ribrian confronting number 17 while Goku fights Rosie, who actually ends up defeating her after a little bit of trouble after figuring out her actual strategy. Rosie and Ribrian are on the defensive as Goku and 17 are just about to defeat them. However, just before they're defeated and the Universe 2 warriors are actually eliminated, the Yard Rat from Universe 2 actually uses his instant transmission to save them, which I think is going to prove a very pivotal and important technique in this tournament, especially for Goku since he doesn't really seem to be aware of the fact that he's also able to do it, and I think it could easily be one of his biggest trump cards in the tournament. Meanwhile, Universe 6 is Botamo is confronted by Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan opts to fight Botamo himself as Piccolo kind of looks on. Gohan actually punches Botamo in his stomach and actually renders him helpless after a bit of effort. He actually uses his punches to raise Botamo off his feet after it appears to be quite useless against him and ineffective. However, he's able to guide him off the fighting stage and Botamo tries as much as he can. However, just as he tries to fight back on, Gohan is able to eliminate him quite easily. When we see the last two remaining fighters from Universe 10, Gohan and Piccolo fight them. One of them is Obuni, while the other one is Rubalt. Now, Rubalt fights Piccolo, who actually defeats him quite easily. However, Gohan struggles a bit against Obuni. He's the last fighter for Universe 10. We even see Gowasu, which is probably one of my favorite characters in the last arc of Dragon Ball Super. I thought he was a fantastic character and a really cool Supreme Kai. Obviously, he made some bad decisions when he appointed Zamasu, and he really wasn't able to deal with him. However, they all kind of look on Universe 10, the God of Destruction, and Gowasu. They look on as they see Obuni being the last character and they're confident in him. They have to support him. Obviously, since they have no one else to turn to, he's ultimately the last fighter. However, he ends up getting eliminated by Gohan after utilizing some cool speed aka some kind of after image techniques. I thought that was kind of interesting. However, Gohan's able to defeat him after a very clutch power up and then utilizing a Kamehameha attack against him. And that results in Universe 10 being eliminated and the Grand Priest making the announcement that now that since they are eliminated, Zeno has to erase them. Everyone looks on another universe is erased and I thought it was very climactic but just before the universe is actually erased Gohan looks down and sees Obuni's locket who he dro he dropped this locket and he has a picture of his family in there and it kind of makes me feel quite sympathetic and quite emotional and that's really the thing that resonated with me in this episode just because we see Gohan almost kind of envision himself in Obuni's spot because I could very easily see Gohan imagining Videl as well as Pan and himself in that locket just before it disappears because at the end of the day he's fighting her for his family and friends as well just like Obuni was fighting for his family and friends and everyone else in universe verse 10. The reality is is that it's not really of consequence at this point, but the reality is is that at the same time, it kind of hits home that this is the survival arc. At the end of the day, no one is safe. No matter what your cause is, no matter who you're fighting for, if you're not powerful enough, you're going to lose, you're going to be erased, and you just can't do anything about it because it's such an inevitable, you know, and, and precious situation for the Xeno. And, and I suppose the Grand Priest, who's probably manipulating this, you know, that's what a lot of people are speculating at this this was a very important episode, I think. It definitely made me feel that sympathy for the other universes that I haven't really felt too much before. In last week's episode with Android 17 kind of interrupting uh, the Universe 2 trios, uh, transformation it really made me kind of be like you know whatever you, you you don't need to let them power up you should defeat them as fast as possible because you're fighting for yourself but at the same time in this episode it kind of flip-flops on episode 102 because we're like you know we're eliminating these these universes we're eliminating these fighters and, and it's at the end of the day it's not our fault we're just trying to look out for ourselves our own universe and you know it kind of seems to be you know put Gohan in the situation where he's both sympathetic but also kind of annoyed in the in terms of the unfortunate circumstance that they all find themselves in but in the, in the end, he actually seems to kind of just shrug it off and he kind of, you know, just deals with it since they don't really have a choice. They are still in the middle of a tournament. So I thought it was a cool episode. I had a bunch of cool action. I'm so excited that we finally saw a bit of Gohan again. It was a cool episode in, in as far as how it kind of played on the emotional aspect of Dragon Ball Super. We don't really see that too frequently with Akira Toriyama. And we really saw a lot of the other universes kind of look on once again and kind of realize and become conscious of the fact that, you know, once again, another universe, it's a race. We have to step up our game because we don't have too many opportunities for failure and too many opportunities for, for errors on our own part. And our failures have to constantly be, be cerebral, conscious, and be at their A game. So we'll see what happens on next week's episode. We're going to see the Beerus lookalike Pride Trooper from Universe uh, 12, I believe it is, or 11. I forget. I get all the universe numbers mixed up. But we're going to see the Beerus lookalike Pride Trooper fight once again. 
Uh, it's going to be exciting. I think he's going to be fighting against Hit, if I'm not mistaken, in next week's episode, which is going to be a really cool battle. Hopefully, we'll also see a little bit of Vegeta. We haven't really been seeing too much of him or Frieza. I really like to see what Frieza does. I really hope it doesn't come down to like you know one of those climactic episodes where Frieza and you know Vegeta and you know each one of them get their own episode where. You know, it's it's a single episode dedicated to them, and it's a huge climactic se sequence where they save someone maybe from Universe 7, and then they get eliminated themselves. Like, I don't want that to be the case. I really hope that the episodes kind of continue on, and they're as exciting as possible, but... That's really all I had to say about this episode. Let me know what you guys thought of Dragon Ball Super episode 103. I know it was definitely a huge hype beast episode. I really enjoyed it myself. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Thanks for watching this episode, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, feel free to smash that like button, drop a comment down below. And if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe. Also enable notifications so you guys can stay up to date when my latest videos come on. And if you guys want to help out the channel and show your support, the best way to do that is by clicking that Patreon link down below and helping by contributing to my channel. You guys can pledge any amount. It's very much appreciated. And I do give shout outs in the credits of all my videos to anyone who contributes. I just recently opened up my Patreon, so I don't expect to have many Patreons in general, if any at all. So let me know what you guys think of this latest episode. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen next week. I'll see you next time, Z Fighter fans. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time, guys.